Hello, I'm, I'm Sebastian Franck. Uh, I'm an ESL teacher in France uh, and uh, I've decided to share with you uh, the changes in my teaching. Uh, so, um, four years ago, I felt a bit uh, worried and bored by my work of teaching. That's why I decided uh, to make research about new ways of teaching and um, I found um, for the first uh, direction I found uh, was flipped teaching so it was very interesting and I was very very uh, close to, to that in my, my own sensibility that's why I um, met some people who introduced me uh, into the conference, the CLIC 2015, in which I animated uh, two workshops. Uh, there I made uh, very inspiring encounters um, with teachers from different school subjects, not only ESL. Uh, I decided to start a Twitter creation and it was very interesting because I realized that um, it was very important to have a network to share, to question, to, to ask things and I, <clears throat> I had that feeling of not being alone and the things I had experimented before uh, in fact was not um, isolated so that was very interesting because it gave me um, the, the kind of strength to believe in what I have decided to develop so uh, after this congress and conference I decided to launch a project Flanders Lane with uh, Regine Bernard Bertois another ESL teacher and uh, it's the creation of a virtual city in which all my students uh, work together and um, the, the needs of some groups uh, had been resolved and solved by uh, other groups' work. So that was a kind of collaboration and a contribution to in in a kind of a global simulation in a city and at the same time I <clears throat> decided to think about assessment process and in ESL in France and in Europe we have a kind of um, a global assessment framework and I decided to transform the, the grades the mocks I had to to put in France out of 20 to make them correspond to the different levels it means that A, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1 which are levels in the uh, common framework for languages and uh, <coughs> that was interesting because I decided to change my viewpoint about assessment and by gradually um, not really destroying but by gradually changing the the number uh, into um, I would say into stairs into steps uh, with uh, levels I had the impression that for the students it was less um, uh, hurtful Exactly. So, uh, so from September to June, okay. So I I developed this kind of things. In fact, uh, concerning this project, Flanders Lane, it's because I discovered Freinet, uh, a French um, French teacher, uh, kind of a scientist, uh, and I decided to develop work plans. I discover the cooperative classroom with a lot of people who are my friend now uh, and you have the names here. Uh, I discovered also the gamification 
and the use of group works um, in gamification. And also I discovered the Flip Classroom 2.0. It's a, a new form of Flip Classroom and I think that it's a form which corresponds uh, to, to me better. So here, uh, this is a kind of a document which is a work plan. It's an individual document in which you have the levels in the different skills. And my students, it's individual, have to choose three goals. Uh, they have the roles of production in my gamified group work, and they have to do all the roles in one month. So one week, one role. There are different resources. They are going to work at home, a video or text. Uh, and some work about autonomy and a peer tutoring, tutoring, sorry, in which they have to help the others. And uh, it's it's a form of giving to the students more autonomy. And that's also my vision of Flip Classroom in the way that I think that what is interesting is not only to, to flip uh, the resources and to give things at home, because sometimes it's difficult, but also to flip in the classroom. And I, I have a, a functioning with group and they have to, the roles of production and they have to become teachers and they have to, to every time to try to, to help others when they can help them. Uh, so of course, everything is important uh, as a kind of a teacher system. It means all the different systems uh, I follow on Twitter, so here they are the main group uh, in which I, I take part into. So this is a group of friends uh, sharing about individual and experiments we can do individually. The Flipped uh, Network in France, uh, my Flanders Lane project, and it's connected to a group of um, art and music teachers uh, using connection and connecting devices and that's very interesting Edu Voices, it's also uh, a sharing community of, of teachers or people uh, very close to education and uh, very interested in uh, educational questions uh, C to see Edu, it's um, uh, a group uh, which work on uh, something which is like the color of um, belts, like in sport, for instance, to, to try to give to the students uh, the autonomy to choose the different progression they want to have to, to assess uh, step by step. Uh, and uh, Twitter Officiel, which is a collective which works on spelling and dictation uh, with Twitter to try to make students think about uh, mistakes and the category of mistakes. That's very interesting. And I think that um, we always learn from others. Uh, okay, so uh, last year I work on the second year of my project, Flanders Lane, and the story was uh, on a Banish Island in which my different groups work on an island and I try to make collaboration with teachers from other uh, school subjects and more particularly with one which is a friend to me uh, who is a master of Minecraft who decided to uh, modelize the island with Minecraft and also I develop thoughts about individual progressions and it's the, what I told you about the belt and I decided to develop this uh, in my um, in my school subject by trying to define different individual progression. Oh, I forget the D, individual progression. Uh, with uh, personal things and um, something like that with a, a kind of a, of a handbook of uh, different things. Uh, yeah. Um, the different tips I can use in my teaching, so uh, the whiteboard, here it's uh, an A3 sheet in which each student is uh, sit here and this is an individual uh, draft and here this is the common, um, the common things 
which which are going to be used to to write or to speak about the contents and i have something which is um something uh i found in one of my of my primary teacher friend which is um, a kind of pyramid with a different color you put the right color on the top so when it's uh when it's yellow on the top and the students put the yellow on the top it's okay they are working green it's okay um they need to be checked about what they have done uh, red it's they had a problem and blue it's they have a problem but they try to find a solution together without me without the teacher uh, and this year uh, I have different projects so the last year of my of London's Lane with a kind of uh, an escape game and different things uh, in, in a different kind of things concerning the a game in which I have uh, divided my my syllables into different places and we my students have to solve problems in the different places in four places more particularly i have also decided to work on augmented reality and differentiation and more particularly to help a dyslexic student and we have um software french software mirrors make which can help uh, students to have, uh, in fact, an audio version of of a text, of a, of a written text. A sound painting and instant self-correction, it's a way to hack the sound painting when my students speak and to help them to instant self-correction without um, stopping them in the flow when they speak. And I have also created with my students this year a Twitter account about different work in English and a kind of uh, grammar rules, grammar advice, exercises, uh, cultural contents to help uh, students to revise or to develop uh, uh, English. So something done by the students for the other students. And uh, the last things I have decided to think about it's the, the, the six seasons. Uh, in EL Cell High School in France. It's my personal vision of this, and more particularly, sorry, it's in fact a. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, it's uh, in fact my the my vision of the six C's: communication, collaboration, citizenship, character development, creativity, and critical thinking. And I'm going to try to use these different C's in my in my lessons and to try to see if I can give to my students a different part and make them aware of these different skills they will be needed in the future. So if you have any question, you can make comments on the video or you can contact me on Twitter. I put here my Twitter address. Okay, and uh, so... Don't hesitate if you have questions. Thank you very much.